So what if you could type directly from your brain? It sounds impossible, but it's closer than you may realize. but I think he has more nefarious uh, uh, plans. It's not an implant. They don't put anything in your, you know, in, into your head. Uh, this is interface that it reads your brain activity. You put on, it looks like a shower cap, okay? And it surrounds the brain and it discovers connections between your thoughts and brain activity. And it also makes use of optical imaging technology. Together, we have a goal of creating a system capable of typing 100 words per minute, five times faster than you can type on your smartphone, straight from your brain. I mean, do you trust Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook when we know how our information has been shared and, and abused and, um, and they're spying on us and, and, and all that kind of stuff? Do you want them to know your thoughts? Uh, what's inside your head the way, as you said, they do with smartphones and, and our computers. And then what happens if, if your thoughts get out? We know that we risk our medical information getting out and all kinds of different things. But if they knew what you were thinking, would you be prosecuted? Would you be blacklisted? Would you lose your job? I mean, the, the, the possibilities are limitless and they're all frightening. Researchers at the University of California have created a machine able to translate your thoughts into a text. The intended goal is to help those who are unable to speak. Critics fear the device could reveal unwanted thoughts or untold truths accidentally. Ashley Banks with more tonight. Researchers say this mind-reading machine has an accuracy rate of 90% or more, almost always perfectly translating your thoughts into text instantly. This machine works by registering and analyzing the combination of vowels and consonants. It then translates these sentences based on neural signals into text in real time. According to scientists, the machine can even use words it's never heard of before. And in 2018, MIT revealed their Alter Ego device, which measures neuromuscular signals in the jaw to allow humans to converse in natural language with machines simply by articulating words internally. Study leader David Moses told The Sun this would be the first of its kind, saying, quote, Given the performance exhibited by the machine and this work and its capacity for expansion, we are confident in its ability to serve as a platform for the proposed speech prosthetic device. However, critics fear the device will cause problems if secret thoughts are exposed accidentally, which may make anyone second guess using this device as many people have secrets that they don't want to expose. However, scientists are hoping that many people will be able to overlook this flaw in the future. In Washington, Ashley Banks, RT. A recent breakthrough at the University of California in San Francisco showed how researchers can read the brain's signals to the larynx, jaw, lips, and tongue, and translate them through a computer to synthesize speech. The proof that you are seeing is signable in moves. Researchers at the Universiteit Maastricht in the Netherlands claim they have successfully created a mind-reading machine that will allow the user to type letters and words just by thinking. It could be the first real-time thought translating communication system ever invented. Published this week in Current Biology, the paper describes the method, which uses functional magnetic resonance imaging to analyze blood moving through gray matter in a patient's brain, while they look at letters and think of something specific. Once the imaging is complete, the patient can effectively spell out words by thinking. A pretty amazing feat! The paper's authors say the system is relatively simple and could be used almost immediately. DARPA let a couple of contracts back in 2011-2012 to the University of California for what's called electronic telepathy, being able to monitor the brain activity of human beings at a distance and determine what they're thinking. And then on a second contract, actually developing complex signals, being able to send them into the brain of another person, literally transmit a message. Um, this is where the technology is today.
We're talking about decoding those words, the ones you've already decided to share by sending them to the speech center of your brain. 